if you've imported a sprite into your stage, um, you might have imported it with a white background like this if you saved it off the web, or you might have a slightly more complex background like this one. And you don't want that, you just want the character or the car or the shark in this case. So I'm going to show you how to use scratch tools to get rid of this white background here. First of all, select your sprite and go to costumes. And then you want to edit. There we go. Um, now, I can't see all of my sprite at the moment. Um, so I'll just have to scroll up and down. But here's what you have to do. Select your paint bucket the fill tool and then down here bottom right there's a little checkerboard style box click on that that means see-through or transparent so all you've got to do is click on the white areas and you'll see they go checked that makes those areas see-through however this little bit down at the bottom isn't the same color it's slightly shadowed so you'd have to go through that step by step and get rid of it and you might end up with a few little dots pixels around here they're a bit more difficult to see I'll tell you what I'll do if I just fill the background in temporarily a bright blue you'll see that those stand out a bit more so you can see them so what I'm going to do now is get my eraser and I'm just going to rub them out like that you'll notice it does my bright blue background at the same time that doesn't matter for me I'm going to change that back to see-through in a second just rub out the extra dots there we go, otherwise if you don't get rid of them all you might find that your, your sprite is interacting with something when it shouldn't be um, because one of those little dots is touching something and you can't really see it it's a bit tricky with this eraser what I can do is change the size of it to be a bit more precise the round edge isn't the easiest but that'll do for the moment back to my fill tool, back to see through, set my background back to transparent fill in all those extra bits and if I click OK you'll see that the background has gone from my sprite. Just one more thing, if you've got a car like this and it's pointing up and you want to move it with arrow keys, go back to it and rotate it until it is pointing left to right. That way everything will work nicely. If you've got something like this shark it's more complex because um, basically you've got more colors in your background and it's going to be really quite difficult to edit it in scratch see if watch if I, if I try that paint bucket technique again I'm just getting bit of rid of tiny bits and it's going to take you forever so what I'd advise is take it out and edit it in a more powerful image editing piece of software like Photoshop or fireworks if you've got it available um, and then import it once you've got rid of the background it's best when you're picking your sprites to try and pick them with solid color backgrounds if you've got to edit them because they're the easiest to do so that's how to get rid of backgrounds on sprites in Scratch.